Welcome back to Five Talk Street. I'm Vince Sims. We're celebrating Earth Day this month, and Friends of Oak Cliff Parks are a major sponsor of an Earth Day event taking place today between 12 noon and 5 p.m. at Lake Cliff Park. Now, here to tell us all about the organization and today's event is John Papp. He's the president of the Friends of Oak Cliff Park. So, John, thank you so much for being here with us and joining us. Hey, thank you for inviting me. All right. Before we start talking about the organization, let's talk about the actual event that's happening today. Well, the Oak Cliff Earth Day is an event that's been going on for several years. I think this is the 14th annual Earth Day event. It's at Lake Cliff Park in North Oak Cliff, uh, right off Colorado Boulevard. Mm -hmm. And what is the event? What's going to be happening? Well, there'll be a lot of things going on. There are a lot of booths that are set up by vendors uh, that promote things such as uh, solar lighting, you know, wa saving water, a lot of garden clubs, selling plants, a lot of city services, mm -hmm. those sort of things. There's also a lot of entertainment going on throughout the day. So a little bit of fun and a lot of education as well. Hopefully. <laughs> yep. All right, let's talk about your organization. Tell us about this. Well, the Friends of Oak, Club, of Oak Cliff Parks Garden Club is celebrating 20 years this year. Uh, we do work in the five historic parks of Oak Cliff, uh, mainly on the restoration of formal and informal garden beds, but also work on the hardscape and cleaning up litter, just whatever we need to do. Mm. You know, people may not even realize you said five parks in the Oak Cliff area that are there. How yeah. Would, how would you describe these parks? Well, most, all but one of the parks are at least 80 years old. And a lot of them, three of the five have several WPA structures from the 30s. So there's a lot of history that goes on in those parks. Wow, which is a good reason people should visit those and check those out. So tell us about your garden club, what that is, and some of the projects you have. Well, our garden club is a member of the State of Texas Garden Club, which is part of District 10. There's 10 districts of garden clubs in the state of Texas. So there are 40 within District 10, and we're one of those, and that's the Dallas six county area. But uh, we do, as I said, projects to, you know, anything that'll promote the environment, anything that promotes legislation that will help our purpose. Anything like that. Anything along those lines. Yeah. So let's talk about a couple of things. So I saw some things here. Uh, butterfly gardens? Yeah, we've done uh, butterfly gardens in all five of our parks. Uh, most of them are monarch way stations, which are a type of butterfly bed that has to include some number of nectar beds, plus they have to have milkweed plants, which is the uh, host plant for the monarchs. And so special type of plants to get the monarchs, and we know yeah. they do pass through here during their migrations and stuff, so that's important yeah. to have. Yeah, there are times when you'll see 30 or 40 monarchs when they're migrating back south in the fall in any one of the given parks. Mm. Talk about um, Lake Cliff Park and what's yeah. happening there. Well, Lake Cliff Park is where we're gonna be having Oak Cliff Earth Day today. It starts at noon until five o'clock today, and uh, We've got a beautifully restored uh, six major bed area of flowers, wildlife flowers, a uh, crepe, crepe myrtle, crepe myrtles, crepe myrtle yes. demonstration garden, an obelia demonstration garden with varieties of crepe myrtle that go from the miniature up to the full size. Wow. How can people, you know, our viewers, get involved in what your organization is doing? Well, we're always looking for people who are interested in, in helping out. We do have, we can be contacted on our website, which is friendsofoakcliffparks.org, mm -hmm. or which has all of our work days. And that's usually the way people come across us. Our work days are also promoted on the Master Gardeners and the Master Naturalists calendars. We do send out newsletters to our 71 people that we have who are regular volunteers. Mm -hmm. So why is it so important to have organizations like yours that focus on our parks? Well, I think one of the main reasons is because the city has been cutting budget money for the last 30 years for the parks department. So they have fewer and fewer resources. 
and they, the amount of help we get from them is incredible, but it's limited. So they really need groups to come in and help take over what the city's parks department can no longer do. Yeah. Well, Don, I have to say we're very grateful and thankful that your organization is doing this and specifically in the Oak Cliff area and focusing on those parks. So thank you very much for what you're doing. Hey, thank you. Appreciate the invitation. Yeah, you are welcome. Hope you enjoy the event today, too. Okay, thank you. <laughs>